Hey everybody, figured today I would do my first unboxing video. This is Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon. It came in that box, but I've already unboxed it because I actually don't like unboxing videos. So I wanted to do my version of it. So here's what I got in this box. I got something that was a surprise, the surprise box. And in there was the art book for the ISS Vanguard, apparently a game that's coming. Um, we have the Almanac of Avalon, which tells you a lot of the lore of the Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon sort of backstory. So you could go in through here and learn a lot about what's going on. I think that's pretty cool. And I got this sealed, it's not a real wax seal, but it's a sticker of a wax seal. There's a letter in there. Um, I didn't open it up, although I'm seeing it kind of says... Thank you. So it's probably just a letter from uh, Awakened Realms kind of thanking me as a backer. Then here we have the uh, the main box. It's pretty big. Here's a look at it. Let me get rid of that. Had some bags. Not a lot. Rule book. Decent rule book, I guess. 24 pages. Nice looking uh, rule book there. It's got this cool little start here guide. Now this, um, it's the open and play guide. Helps you set up and start your first single player adventure. Teach you all the basic game rules built for approximately an hour of play and no spoilers for the main campaign. So I'm actually gonna try this out. I'm not really a, a solo gamer. I intended to play this as a two player experience. But I think that's pretty cool, having a little starter solo thing just to just to figure out the game a little bit. Then we've got a letter written to each of the four characters in the game. Didn't read those yet because I don't know what character I'm playing. Then we have these maps. These look like these are four maps, which uh, to me suggests that this is this is the landscape of Avalon to kind of help you. Uh, plan your course as you're revealing location cards. Maybe you say, oh, look, I'll go north. And maybe you can take notes on these. I don't know, because uh, I expect that the game will make you die more than, more than uh, usual <laughs> in games. Maybe you have to take information you've picked up from previous plays into future games. Here we have the save sheet, a bunch of these. It's actually a lot with all statuses on the back for your character. Interesting. We have a spiral bound exploration journal. This was actually wrapped in, in plastic and shrink and bound here with cardboard. It was really nicely packaged. And this is uh, all the stuff that you don't want to see. So we'll save that. Inside we have this uh, plastic lid for the insert. Um, these are the character boards. Let's see if I can get in there while still maintaining a good view with the camera. It's kind of hard one-handed I've done this. Um, these are very, very nice player mats. They are double layer, so your cubes will stay in place. Everything's really good. Right here you have a piece that comes out tells your character, their background, and how they start, you what you get to begin, and you put them back in face down and get to it. So we have Maggot and uh, Eile, Arev, and Bior. And they all have uh, mildly different stats. They're, they're not like wildly different, so you can kind of adjust them as you go. This is kind of hard to take out with one hand, but we will get, get out of there. So I do this for you. Well, I do this now for you. Um, so all these cards were actually down in here. Uh, I moved them and took a couple out of the pack so that we could actually grab them and see them on camera. We'll get to those minis later, but for the poker size cards, we have some revealed locations some advancement pool cards. I didn't want to open all these. This is an open and play. This is probably for the uh, that beginning campaign thing. 
some uh, event cards, you know, just uh, weather and things like that. Um, there's probably other stuff in there, but I didn't open them all yet. Diplomacy, some combat cards. Combat. Here are some. Let me get this out. We've got encounter cards, and this is all different encounters, different colored encounters for different difficulties and different types, you know, whether it's a nature encounter or a whatever, I forget. I read the Kickstarter a long time ago. Um, we get in here, I did the advancement pool. And looking at some more encounter cards, then we have some other interesting stuff here. We've got You Are Going Insane cards. And some more of these these combat cards, which is going to be a really interesting play style using the the cards to go through combat. And we have these little things, a lot of item cards, and then we have these secret cards. And then here we have the item cards. They all have the Grail art on there. So this this vacuum form tray here actually looks like uh, save slots for your four characters that you can save your your status at the time of uh, putting the game away. And then if we get in here, everything has these these uh, individual separators. So this is like tight in there. It's hard to grab some uh, player aid. And then we have locations. This is kind of part of the map, which you saw that face over on those other maps. Got a couple of dice. That one has directions and some other stuff on them. This is just numbers, but it's a nice guy. And then this one has some blank faces and some cardinal directions. And X marks the spot. Uh, we've got our chips here. These are dials. These count down our men here's how much light they're going to have and also they can be used like to flip and if you if you get a skull something could happen. If you get a grail something could happen depending on what card is telling you to do that. This is your uh, health meter tracker that kind of reduces the amount of energy you can you can have at a particular given health level. So you can never go above when you have this much health. I thought that was really cool. Really cool aspect of the game. He's got these other counters here. What I'm not sure what these are, but we'll find out. Sort of a grail and a uh, an hourglass. All right, now a lot of people are really interested in seeing these minis. So we have the men here's three sculpts which was a stretch goal, I believe. So all the games will come with three sculpts instead of the one that they started with. Wow, eight minutes and a half. I was trying to be quick because I don't like long unboxings, but whatever, here we go. Um, this one's really cool. A lot of interesting stuff. We got this guy. I'm sure he's important. He's scary. I didn't read all the details. Now I'm just going to come down here to look at these. So these are our characters. Bior, Ailee, that guy, and Maggot. And they are really pretty well detailed. Uh, I'm not like a miniatures connoisseur, but I think they're pretty cool. see there's like some separation on their arms and stuff but I think overall they kind of get the point across and do it a lot better than a lot of other minis I've seen so yeah that's uh that's Tainted Grail the Fall of Avalon there's your insert and uh all the secrets lie ahead and I'm really excited I'm gonna jump into this area pretty soon it's going to be great.